What's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 Caprice with another video. Today guys I'm gonna be showing you guys a car that I got back here and it belongs to my boy Cuz. He's finally back in the game. He found himself a nice cutlet, which I'm gonna be showing you guys once I load unloaded from the tow truck. I picked it up last night. I was gonna show you guys, but it was too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload it and show you guys a little walkthrough about his car. See what y'all think. See if uh if he's back in the game, you know. Um, he said this is his first G-Body, so we're going to check it out and, uh, like I say, see what y'all think. So let me unload it. Alright, here it is, gang. 1987 Oldsmobile 442 Cutlass. I believe he found this car in Indiana. Owner, previous owner had this car for quite about uh what do you say a couple uh i don't remember but it was over 10 years and it's just been uh parked outside or um not sure where i really don't know the history in this car uh he was just telling me that the previous owner had it and he had a uh, he had another one that was nicer but he was getting rid of this one um i can see he has a little ding right there on the fender just got some canter starting on the door right there some right there, some in the lower quarter. Well, pretty much all around. I mean, that's usually what happens when a car kind of sits outside. But it is an 87. I think I forgot to close the door. It's kind of long, it's pretty cool. There you go. I mean, it's not a bad, Let's see if they changed the tail light housing right there but I mean the car needs a paint job so that's not a big issue okay yeah like I said both sides got a little cancer starting on the bottom but it looks like it's all there and I'm, I don't see any missing pieces for what he paid i mean i don't think he did bad so i see the car got a lot of potential that's got the euro front end already since it's an 87. it's a hard top it's not a t-top but some people prefer hard tops depending on what they're going to do as far as build you know with the t-top they're not uh as reinforced as the hard tops like for racing stuff but i know gus is not trying to race no car said it had the shield protector so hmm I guess it kind of held after all the years huh let's check the inside out yep all original got the power windows power seats kind of a mess in here you did tell me he honestly didn't want me to show you guys the car because he said it wasn't ready but sometimes people got to just be proud of what they have you know uh, that's the problem nowadays a lot of people don't get cars or don't buy cars because they they feel like they're gonna fall into they're trying to get acceptance from other people and if you know we don't all have the same taste we don't all have the same money we don't all have the same uh, liking so I mean, don't, don't let someone else stop you from buying what you like just because you're scared that people are going to talk about you or talk about your car. You know, if you see something, just get it, you know. That might be the one. It's for you. You're buying it for your likings. You know what you like. And sometimes you might you might miss that opportunity just because you're scared of people, you know, are going to talk about your car. So, I mean, everything got to fixing. And you got to start somewhere, so... But yeah, I mean, car looks great. I think he did good. Uh, it, it, it even got the badges on the door. It does got the power locks. I don't know if they work. Well, they have to work because of the alarm. With the power windows. Oh, uh, what's the bottom on this? 44,000. Dash has no cracks. I <laughs> think my boy Cabo over there looking at me. Um, yeah it's just dirty but i mean that's nothing really you know serious 
Got the AC, control, radio. Oh, it looks like it's got an EQ. That's worth some money. I wonder if he knows that. What bread is that? That's a Sherwood. Hmm. I'm not sure that's the one, but I know people like these and they worth some money. I'm not sure if that's the one, but I might have to do a little research on that. Maybe y'all know in the comment section. Is that worth anything? There's an EQ right here. But it's got the floor shifter, got a cassette player. What is this? Oh, this is just a blank one or something. Oh, this is not in place. I mean, he has to go through the car. He doesn't know much of the car. He knows he's gonna need a headliner. Uh, he's got the buckets, and see the, the back. Got extra moldings. Yeah, like I said, I don't see really nothing missing on the car, so this is always a good starter car. Try to find something that is not missing any pieces. So when you're getting ready to restore it, you're not uh, stressing about looking for parts or overpaying for parts. Oh, I hear all the leaves crunching. Yep, this car was definitely seen outside. You guys see all that gunk just stuffing that door. I think the first thing he should do is give it a nice bat. Got some extra vents there. I mean, the rocker looks solid from what I see on both sides. The door over there it had like some surfer rust. This door looks clean, all complete as well. I like the car. It, it's got potential. I'm not sure what he got in the trunk. I'm not even sure if he wants me to open this trunk. What if he got something illegal in the back? Mm -mm -mm. All these keys, guys. All these keys. Alright, here goes nothing. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, more parts. Well, that's good. Alright, looks like he got some seat brackets here. He got the extra light. Oh, he got the. Here's a piece that's black, so. Oh, this is this the right side? Not yeah, sure. It, oh, it is. This is the one they took off. You guys see it broke on the top. That's why they replaced it. Okay, okay. Yeah, really dirty in here. You got your sun visors right there. Your jack, some plastic. Looks pretty old and I don't know. <laughs> A lot of leaf. Yeah. This definitely looks like it's a car that's been sitting for a while. All right, let's go see the hood. What's under the hood? I'm hoping it's all original. So far, it's all original inside and out. Let's see the dry train. Look at all them leaves just piled up everywhere right there. All the doors. What you think, Apple? What you think? You think does did good or no? You like it? Yeah? <laughs> uh, this hood is heavy. Oh yeah. Got the fancy Oldsmobile polish air filter cover on top. It's definitely all original. Yeah, I can see it. It's just a big abandoned dirty car right now. See what it says here? Yep, the 5.0 right there. All right. Well, my boy, you did great. I'm actually uh, proud of you. You went by yourself, got this car, and I can say you did great. Maybe we can fire it up. Where's the keys? Did I lock them in there? That would be just not good, huh? Ugh. Let's see if it fires right up. Let's pump the gas a little bit. I think the bat he told me something about the battery was low, so we're gonna check that out in a little bit. Because it looked like it just lost power out of nowhere, so that means a bad connection. So I'll try it out right now. He did start the car up yesterday to put it up the tow truck, so I know the car runs. So 
But yeah guys get in the comment section let me know what y'all think about Gus's new project uh, need some TLC but you know it's nothing that we can do together or help them out or you know get them back to where it needs to be so um, like I said get in the comment section let me know what y'all think of this latest pickup the 1987 Osmo Osmoville Cutlass 442 I must say, after cleaning the Monte Carlo, I think it cleans up pretty nice. Let me show y'all, see what y'all think. <whistles> not too bad, not too bad. I actually don't think the car is that that bad I mean cleans up pretty nice uh, paints not too bad could use a buff but I mean there's like no visible rust I'm sure there's bodywork under the paint but still presentable all right guys let me walk my dog's over here I said, I don't think it's that bad. Did the wash really make that difference? <laughs> so yeah, I did uh, find out that uh, the back is different. So uh, you, they are interchangeable. So this is from like an 85 and down. Or, but yeah, it's supposed to have 87. Maybe that's why they have like the little gap right here. Y'all see, uh, it doesn't really, well, you can tell that it's been replaced at one point because it's not really aligned because it's supposed to have the Euro lights in the back like the 87 because this is an 87 car so just so y'all know the back tail lights and the bumper are from like an 85 and under all right let me show you around Center console is missing the piece right there. Um, I did notice that uh, it's got some aftermarket gauges on there that they install. Got that old school Jensen radio. I remember Jensen, I don't even know they're still in business. Car is going to need a headliner back there. But Cleaned up pretty decent. I don't see it. Uh, does the dash does got some cracks right there, but the doors are not missing anything besides the bunch or the covers right here. I think the passenger side does have them over there. Let me show y'all the passenger side. See, it got some swirls. Should have taken it to Ace to get that buff job. So here is the passenger side. This is the pieces that are missing on the other side. Oh, this one is missing one too. So this is what it looks like. So it's missing three. I guess one here, two on the driver's side. So what y'all think? Does it still look the same from before? I mean, I'm sure it does. It just had a wash. Nothing too crazy, you know. I didn't go too crazy on it. What y'all doing? What you guys sniffing? I'll show you guys the engine bay.
I did clean the engine bay. It does look very presentable now of what it used to look like. Check it out, small block. So the car is missing a power steering. So steering is kind of hard. It gets softer once you get driving. But yeah, here it is. She is ready for the new owner. For those that are interested, y'all can contact me on Instagram, Mr. 75 Caprice. For those who don't got Instagram, y'all can contact me through here on YouTube and we can interchange uh, emails or whatnot, or we can figure out a way of communicating each other. But the car is located in Illinois and it is ready to go. 1987 Chevy Monte Carlo SS. T-top. Can't forget the T-tops. Thanks for watching.